As a grand prize, it was a fantastic experience as well to be in Atlanta and to watch the Super Bowl as Tom Brady collected his sixth Super Bowl ring. Hello, my name is Holly Yang and I'm a Kagler. Back in 2012, a friend of mine invited me to a data science meetup in New York where one of the featured speakers was Jeremy Howard, who was chief scientist at Kaggle at the time. Jeremy gave an inspirational story about how a PhD student in glaciology, as well as an Arabic handwriting scholar somewhere in the Middle East, were both able to beat the state-of-the-art benchmark in a physics competition to identify dark matter. It inspired me that the platform was democratizing data science and making it possible for people to contribute to fields far outside the domain of expertise. At the time, I had just quit a job in finance and incurred a one-year non-compete, and I was looking for something to do during my year off. Since I didn't know very much about data science, I wanted to enter Kaggle competitions and use that as a way for me to learn data science. And a few days later, I entered my first competition. And I've never lost the thrill of climbing my way up the leaderboard since then. Outside of Kaggle, I co-head a team of economic analysts and data scientists at a hedge fund. There, we take non-traditional data and try to derive tradable insights that are non-obvious and potentially market-moving. It is a real privilege to work with such a talented group of data scientists and to be able to use some of the skills that I've honed on the Kaggle platform. To me, becoming a grandmaster is a real badge of accomplishment. It is not easy to earn, and it requires a combination of creativity, analytical ability, as well as sheer persistence and doggedness. When I meet another person who is a grandmaster, I feel like I already know a bit about who they are and what kind of things they're able to accomplish. My favorite Kaggle competition to date has been the NFL Punt Analytics Competition. This is a very non-traditional Kaggle competition in that there was no leaderboard, uh, no metric by which uh, your submission was uh, scored on, on the leaderboard, but instead you had to put together a proposal for how the NFL could change its rules to protect the safety of its most valuable asset, which is its players. You had to then present this proposal in front of a live panel of judges that included head coaches, physicians, executives, fans, and players. It was a great experience being able to present my ideas and to be able to see whether these ideas could be used to generate real-world impact. As a grand prize, it was a fantastic experience as well to be in Atlanta and to watch the Super Bowl as Tom Brady collected his sixth Super Bowl ring. I see the Calgary community as a place that will continue to serve several great important purposes. First, it's a place where people will come to learn how to do data science, meaning not just finding ways to improve their algorithms, but also finding how to do better exploratory data analysis, how to do better validation, how to uh, collaborate with one another, how to build uh, ETL pipelines or code pipelines, and um, just learning from each other what the best practices are, the right way to solve each problem. Secondly, I think Kaggle will continue to be a place where people will come to test out their new algorithms and have them prove their mettle. Examples of this include Jeff Hinton's team showing that deep learning could win the Molecular Activity Challenge, Tianchi Chen showing that XGBoost was better than any other gradient boosting library out there, as well as Francois Cholet showing that Keras uh, could be very useful in solving deep learning problems. Third, one other important aspect of Kaggle is that it is a place where people find collaborators, partners, and friends who they can work with outside of the Kaggle domain. So examples of this include, of course, Data Robot. It was a consultancy unicorn founded by people who met each other on Kaggle, but also H2O.AI and Kaggle Days, as well as countless other friendships and partnerships that probably sprung from uh, Kaggle as an origin. So the three pieces of advice I would give to someone getting started on Kaggle are first, Always deeply understand the problem that you're trying to solve and make sure you are solving the right objective function. Second, build a validation set that you trust that can be your North Star that you can use to evaluate model changes uh, without referring to the public leaderboard. And then third, don't uh, settle for local optimizations, do a global optimization. Search for all the different solutions you could try and quickly scan through them without the heavy machinery of fine tuning 
giant ensembles early in the competition. Perhaps most importantly, just learn from the Kaggle community. Read the forums, see what other people are doing. I know that I personally have gained a lot by reading the insights that other people have been willing to share on the community forum, and I'm glad that I have this opportunity now to share it to pay that forward. Thank <music> you.